Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going through doing like a full day in the life study with me. So I woke up at seven o'clock this morning. I've literally been slacking on the study in these past couple of days. I've hardly done any. I've been having a lot of me time, going out shopping with my friends and stuff. But today we're gonna get back on it. We're gonna do a lot of revision. Um, so I woke up, it's seven. It's currently about quarter to eight now. But I've just been playing with the dog in the garden. We're just babysitting a dog for the week. Um, it's my auntie's dog. So we're gonna take her out for a walk now. So I'm just gonna do that. And then we will see what I do after that. <laughs> no, darling, darling. Darling, come here. Darling, stop it. <laughs> no, stop it. So we've just got back from our walk and now we're just going to go to the shops. Hello! Hello Gigi baby! <laughs> Hello! Hello! We've been to the shops! It's done. Okay, so I've just had my breakfast. I've been looking through this book. Basically this morning, I've just been kind of just like chilling with the dog, going for a walk, getting in like the right frame of mind to study. Because getting in the right frame of mind can literally make or break a revision session or day. Um, I do want to get quite a bit of revision done today. And I think going for a walk in the morning and like going for a walk to the shops and stuff, it's just really helped set me up for a good productive day. So before I start, I just really quickly want to show you through all of these revision guides that I very kindly got sent by Scholastic. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm so sorry if it's not, but um, I think that's what it's called. You'll recognise the brand anyway. Literally, their books are everywhere. Um, they very kindly sent me some revision guides that I'm so, so excited to use because I got sent some last year as well and they are so amazing. I use them for sciences and also maths. Um, so the book that I was just reading, reading is called How Not To Lose It and it's Mental Health Source. Um, it's basically a book on like a mental health and talking about like what can help you and um, it's got stuff about like anxiety um, and identity and just loads of different like really important topics that teens would have questions on so this is a really good book this is what it looks like and um, so I definitely recommend checking that out and um, again it's just really good it's really good at like helping people like kind of with mental health but then it's also um, it's just a really good book. It's just a really good read through. Um, I just had a really quick flick through it and just read bits of, um, of it. So I definitely recommend checking that out. So they actually sent me all of these revision guides, <laughs> which I'm very, very, very thankful for. Um, so I'm just really good, really quickly going to be showing you three of them because these are the revision guides I am going to be using today. So the first one is um, A Christmas Carol. So this is the revision and practice book, um, AQA 9 to 1, Charles Dickens, Christmas Carol, that's just what I'm doing. Um, they do do other ones, as you can see, they've got Inspector Carl's Blood Brothers, Macbeth, Romeo and Juliet, The Sign of Four, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Um, so these retail for £5.99, but I've got a discount code if you want to get money off them. Um, you might be thinking it might be a bit too late to start buying revision guides because obviously GCSEs are in a few weeks. But honestly, if you don't have them already, then honestly it's so worth buying them because you can always like pass them on to like other people that you know when you're finished with them or resell them on something like Depop or eBay. Honestly, these are just so so good and um yeah, I really like them. Um, so I've got A Christmas Carol, I've got Macbeth, and I've got Blood Brothers. And then I've also got the maths one. So this is the AQA Maths um, Higher Revision Guide. So that's just that one. I really, really, really love this one. Really good. And then I've also got the one for all exam boards. So this is the revision guide for all exam boards. Just because, like... You don't really know what's going to come up and this could be useful. So I've got both the AQA and the all exam boards one. I've also got the English language and literature one. Um, that's just this one. So again, this is good for both lit and both language. So got that one. And then I've also got this spelling, grammar and punctuation one. Because like it says on here, um, you need like spag for English literature, geography, history, RS. So it's really important to be good at spelling and grammar. And punctuation um so i've just got this yeah so those are just all the ones that i've got they also have a revision app 
um, I definitely recommend checking that out that is completely free so make sure to download that and then when you download that you can actually say like which book you've got so say if you say you've got um the maths one then it will tell you what pages to revise every single day and it's just a really really easy way of getting in all your revision before your exams so there's like all the exam those are all like the revision guides i just really wanted to show you them because i honestly do love them and i've been using my ones from last year so so much my science ones um so yeah these are the revision guides this is the book and I think I'm going to start off by revising Macbeth now so I'm going to be using this book. I'm also going to be using my PowerPoint online that I've made and I'm also going to be using Seneca Learning and, and maybe Mr. Bruff we shall see but yeah I'm just going to be revising English literature. So as you can tell, I'm currently not in my own house. We're currently in Emily Bond's house. Um, basically, I was revising Macbeth. And then um, I was on house party to Emily. And then she said, come to my house. So I came to her house. It's currently quarter past five, though, because we've just filmed a video. We're going to walk to Tesco now. Do you think we'll revise later? Yeah. We'll do some RE. We're going to do some RE revision later, um, but for now we're going to walk to Tesco, um, so yeah, that's just like a little update on what I am doing. Hi everyone, and um, Emily's here, and Liv ditched revision to go to Tesco. She made me. She went to go get bread, and she spent like £21. Pounds. Yeah, because so, I'm having so, Yeah. So, and I'm sleeping Emily, so I needed food. Yeah. Um, so now we're just... Emily just feed me, by the way. <laughs> it's just because like, I have special requirements. Yeah, um, so now we're under the bridge. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> Just bleep out, it's fine. Um, you want it back? Um, so yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> and we'll see you when we get home. Okay. Woo! <laughs> this video is going up on Friday, and tomorrow is Saturday, and Live Beauty will be launching, so stay tuned.
What do you have to say? I want a boyfriend. <laughs> Hit her up at Emily B. <laughs> What's your Instagram name? Um, Emily Born and Born with an extra E at the end. Emily Borney. Yeah. Hit up my DMs. <laughs> We're going on a trip. Okay, so as you can probably tell, it's a lot later. Basically, me and Emily just ended up having like a pamper night. We got face masks from Tesco, um, used the new Lip Beauty. It was really good, by the way. Um, and then we basically went on a massive photo shoot as well. <laughs> I put some of the photos in. Um, Go look also, at them on Instagram. Sorry. Yeah. We also revised a bit of RE, but we didn't film it. Um, so, yeah. I know this is meant to be like a full on study with me, but we're going to do studying tomorrow, aren't we? Yeah, all day. Literally, tomorrow's study with me. 12 hours study with me. Yes. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I hope is it's it, like. It's like 1 in the morning right now. Oh my god, it's 1 in the morning. <sighs> I hope you like this video. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.